What's up guys? Thanks for coming back to my channel here. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you're liking the video so far. Any comments or questions, please leave them below. Uh, today we're going to go over the Milwaukee M12 12 volt compact inflator, which the uh, tool only is number 2475-20, which sells for $79, which that's bare tool only, so that's just this, no batteries. The tool charger and a 4 amp hour battery is kit number 2475-21XC, which has the tool, the charger, and a 4 amp hour battery. And the tool and the charger and a 2 amp hour battery is kit 2475-21CP, which gives you the inflator, the charger, and one of the 2.0 amp hour batteries. And right now for Black Friday is on sale for $99 at Home Depot. Uh, I'm just going to go over some of the features that they're saying on here. It has the illuminated screen so when you turn it on and it might be dark out or you have low lighting situations. It does come on and it's illuminated. It shows you your target pressure up here which right now is zero. It shows you your inflation pressure when you hook the hose up to the tire to read what the tire is at uh, they're saying that this is designed for car tires suv tires small to light um, medium heavy duty or not heavy duty but uh, like garden tractors and whatnot uh, saying high efficiency pump and motor and this was uh, go up to 120 psi so i hope that you never have to pump a car tire up to 120 psi with this but they're claiming that it will do it uh, it's also claiming that it's one of the fastest compact inflators on the market at taking a tire from 30 or 0 psi to 30 to 45 psi under four minutes which i'm going to test that here in a little bit later uh, it's saying weather resistant so i mean if by accident you would leave this out and it would get rained on or something like that you know it's not going to ruin the inflator uh, it's got the anti-vibration system on the bottom so if you set it on your driveway you know it's got the the rubber feet on the bottom so it's not going to walk all over the place and uh, move on you uh, another thing I like about this one is is like I said you can run the 2.0 amp hour batteries on it but this is a 3.0 amp hour battery in it, and they sit real nice and flush, as you can see. You know, they don't extend out past the bottom of the tool, and they they fit nice in the socket. So you can run the bigger batteries on these. Uh, it also gives you a needle inflator for, like, basketballs and footballs and stuff. A uh, valve stem adapter a like an inner tube adapter like for like a swimming pool or something like that and then the hose here just wraps up there real nice uh i'd say it's probably about two foot long and it's got the nice screw on brass end on it instead of having like the quick connect that way it has a a good connection there and you don't have to stand there and hold it while it blows the tire up and then the hose just wraps back up on there and then it clips back into place here for the storage on it it's a nice little small unit uh you know for just get you out of a jam or something you know if you got to blow up you know a car tire or a tractor tire or a bicycle tire or something like that and it also has the battery gauge on it here to tell you where your battery's at that way you know you can see see where the battery's charged to if it's about ready to die or how much juice the battery has left in it and they're also claiming that it is one of the lightest inflators on the market as, as far as its size. I think without the battery, it's right around like a pound and a half. I'm not, don't quote me on that, but I think I remember reading that there when I was reading the owner's manual on it when I bought it. But like I said, I think quality on it's pretty nice. You know, there's real no sharp edges or burrs on the castings of the plastic. The handle feels nice, you know. It, 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 fits fits in your hand pretty well if you have to carry it any distance 
Uh, the buttons are all real nice, you know, they have a real nice, uh, like a click to them almost. That way, you, you know, you're not guessing or going too high or going too low on the pressure settings. Uh, this is your button to adjust the PSI down. This is the button to adjust the PSI up. This is your power button. And once you set the PSI on here, which I'll show you when we go to blow this tire up, this is the button that actually starts and stops the pump on here. And another nice feature is about this is once it does hit your set pressure for the tire, you know, if you need to say you want 15 PSI in a tire, once it hits 15 PSI, it'll shut itself off. That way you don't have to worry about overinflating the tire. You can actually walk away from this and not have to worry about it overinflating the tire. Uh, you know, it's a nice little inflator. You know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be uh, using this as a dedicated machine or anything. But for me, what I bought it for is I have a big 80-gallon air compressor in my garage. And this is nice to where you don't have to build that big compressor up just to blow a tire up. You know, you can just throw this in, you know, out in the driveway if you have a flat tire on your car. Or, you know, you go out to cut the grass and your tractor has a flat tire or something like that. This will definitely do the job and get you get you out of a pinch instead of having to turn on a big air compressor or something like that to blow up a tire. So I actually got a tire here that I'm going to take the valve stem out of and then we're going to hook this up and set it to probably like around 15 to 18 PSI and see how long it takes to bring the tire up to pressure. Stay tuned. Thanks. All right, guys, welcome back. I got the valve stem out of that tire and let all the air bleed out of it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this hose up and hook the compressor up to it. I'm going to set it to 12 PSI and uh, just give you an idea of the noise level on it and, you know, how long it'll take to take this tire back up to pressure. It's just on an old form all cub that I have. So I'm going to put this on here, set it to 12 PSI and let it do its thing and time it and see how long it takes. To get this tire back up to pressure and then i'm also going to test the pressure from what i have it set at with a separate tire gauge that way we get an idea of how accurate this pump is and how accurate the settings are on it so i'm going to turn it on here let's just take a look here i'm going to set this to 12 psi we'll turn it on and see how long it takes
it stopped. Uh, I believe it's probably took probably about two, two and a half minutes to get it back up to pressure. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disconnect this valve stem here and I'm gonna check the pressure in the tire with a separate check, uh, tire gauge to see what it, you know, how accurate it is. And this is just a cobalt tire inflator from Lowe's. It's nothing, nothing special here. So I'm gonna test it, turn it on, and uh, we'll see what it's actually reading here. So it's actually reading a little bit over. You can see that it's reading 14 and a half. So, you know, I had it set for 12. So, you know, I'm not sure what the accuracy of the PSI is. I mean, it's between, you know, within two, two and a half pounds. So I, I'd say that's pretty decent for this. Uh, like I said, it does a nice job of, you know, blowing these tires back up that are dead, you know. It, I, I will say it did take that battery down pretty good doing that though as you can see that was a full battery when we started and it took two bars off of it so you know like i said i wouldn't depend on this solely to be your only tire inflator but it'll certainly get you back out of a pinch and the battery just actually came back up to th three bars so it only took it down one bar so overall it's a nice little unit to get you out of a jam and to get a to get a tire pumped back up uh if you have any questions or comments on this please leave them in the comments section and you know questions or anything else you like to see on this thing and uh the comments are definitely going to help the videos they get better here i'm just kind of new at this and getting started out on this and again these are just my sole opinions on things you know i don't get get anything from doing these videos except just to try to help somebody out you know if they're looking to purchase this item or you know something like that so please like and subscribe to the channel and have a nice night guys thank you